guys, we're going to need three tools. You're going to need scissors and you're going to need a crochet hook. Now, the crochet hook that you choose will determine the size of your stitches. I am going with a nine millimeter size M hook. So my stitches are going to be pr a pretty good size. You're going to also need yarn. So I'm using this white yarn, which is from Red Heart. It is the Super Saver yarn. And I'm also going to be using this Craft Smart yarn, which I think you can only find at Hobby Lobby. I'm not exactly sure, but you can also try online. I love the colors in this yarn, and it is called Fiesta. So I'm excited about this. And it's a little smaller. It's 244 yards as opposed to the Super Saver yarn. But you will not need a lot of yarn for this at all. So how we're going to do this, we're going to pull from the middle of the yarn as well as the end of the yarn. And by the end, I mean the other side of the yarn that's usually just wrapped around it. I would like my scarves to be thick and full. So the thicker the yarn, the better. So I'm just going to double up. And we're going to chain, but what you first do is you're going to get ready to do your slip knot. There's multiple ways of doing this. For me, I just simply kind of take the short end of my yarn, wrap it around the crochet hook, then wrap over and pull through. And that will create a knot. Okay, guys, so we're going to start our chain by wrapping over, pulling through, wrapping over, pulling through wrapping over and pulling through. Very simple. And as you can see, I am holding on to the chain as I am going because I want to make sure that it does stay straight. It's going to be very important. Um, and also, just so you guys know that I chained a total of 61. It will definitely determine on how loose you want your scarf, how big your head is because my head is pretty big so in order to get it over my head I had to change just about 61 to get it very comfortable um to get it comfortably over my head and to droop on my neck so you want to definitely um measure it as you go along to your neck or whoever you're doing the project for so it's all my chain is done and basically it's going to go in a round. So that's how you're going to measure around your neck. Make sure that it's enough space that you can easily maneuver it off and on. Now we could work in rounds, but that's very hard. So we're going to do straight. I'm going to make this as simple as possible. And at the end, I will connect it to make it an eternity scarf. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so we're going to get ready to go into the next row and we're going to chain two. This is not including in our initial chain and we're going to now rotate our project. I am right handed so we're going to be working right to left. And this entire project is going to be single crochet. It's going to be so simple, so easy. It should be able to be accomplished within 60 minutes or less depending on how quickly your hands move. So we're going to skip the first hook, excuse me, we're going to skip the first chain from the hook. We don't want to go into the first one, we want to go right directly into the second. So you're going to insert your crochet hook, wrap over, pull through. You'll have two loops, wrap over, pull through them both. Insert, wrap over, pull through, wrap over, pull through them both. Insert, wrap over, pull through, wrap over, pull through both. I'm going to get you a better view. Go into your chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through. You have two loops on your hook, wrap over and pull through both. Insert, wrap over. I go pretty fast, y'all, but you can definitely rewind, slow down. And yeah, it's so, it's so, so simple. Um, this is how your pattern looks so far it's pretty simple this is just going to be the border of the scarf so we're going to continue on with that to the end of the chain okay so once i got to the end of my chain 
we are going to get ready to start the actual body of the scarf by switching the colors. So what you want to do, it's going to be really easy to switch yarn. You want to keep your yarn that's coming from the middle of the white yarn or your base yarn. And you want to cut the yarn from the end of it. So basically just keep the one that's coming out of the middle. The other one you're going to clip. So your new yarn that you're adding is coming from the center of the new yarn scheme and you're just going to tie it to the old yarn that you cut off and attach it. I hope that makes sense, but you guys can watch. Um, it's a little bit self-explanatory if you're looking. So you just want to make sure that the knot is secure because you don't want your project falling apart. And once you have made sure that it is secure, you are going to clip the ends. Go down as far as you can without clipping the actual yarn that you need. So, and that's it. Then you're just going to continue to crochet. So, again, we're starting our next row. We're chaining two. And we're going to turn our project. Now, very important, we are going into the backs of the chains. So, it's going to create an effect of almost like a ribbed look. So you want to make sure that you're inserting your hook into the back. So you're going to skip the first one, go into the second one like before. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over again, and pull through those two. Again, insert, yarn over, pull through the one, yarn over, and pull through two and repeat. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. And guys, this is my real speed. It's not sped up or slowed down. So even at this rate, it literally took me under 60 minutes. So I'm trying to bring very easy and uh, creative projects to you guys that are very beginner friendly and again i'm still new at recording crochet i don't really have time to look up at the camera and i keep forgetting that the project moves and then you can't see it so i apologize i'm still working on it i'm a work in progress so as you guys can see the color is so good like i love how it is mixed with the white so hopefully this is a pattern or a actual color scheme that you guys would enjoy or just think outside the box or outside the norm and um, you know come up with things that get your creative juices flowing <laughs> so now we're at the end of that row and we are going to just keep going you want to make sure though that you count so now I'm going to do my two chains and I'm going to turn the project again and I'm going to continue the same way, exact same thing. Skip the first chain from the hook and then go into the second, the back loops. Now it's very important that you count because you want to make sure that your scarf is going to be straight because again, we are connecting it at the end. So it will be an eternity scarf and it cannot be um, or have ragged edges. And I'm just going to continue on and I'll come back when I am almost to the end of my project. Okay, guys, so this is what my project looks like so far. I have a total of 19 rows and by rows, I'm counting the actual colored and white row. And so I'm going to do a total of 20. Again, you have to measure it as you go along because you can tailor it for a kid, a child, and or should I say, and an adult. So I'm going into my last row. I'm just chaining my two, turning my project, and I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into every chain, skipping the first chain until I get to the end.
If you guys have any questions, please make sure that you comment. If you do like videos like this and you're interested in more, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. And again, I answer and re respond to all comments. Okay, guys, so I'm going into my very last chain. I'm going to finish this row. And again, I'm just going to stress that you need to count so that it's even. And I'm going to now finish off with the white border. The same way that we changed the colored out, the first time we're going to change it out and add the white back to it. So I'm cutting the colored one and I'm going to go back into the end of the white skein and I'm going to attach it and we're going to continue on as normal. And I'm having a little harder time than normal. My nails are growing and I need to cut them because I can't function right now. <laughs> okay, and again, make sure that you secure it and clip off the excess yarn and you can continue. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and chain two. I'm going to turn my project. And we are skipping the first chain from the hook, going into the second, the back end of the row, and continuing. Okay, and just to show you guys, this yarn, when you double it up and you use a bigger hook, crochet hook, it or sh should I say when you use a bigger crochet hook and the yarn that you use, it will be flexible or more flexible the bigger your hook is. So it won't be like this stiff, tight scarf around your neck. It's going to be very loose. Right there, I'm just trying to make it easier pulling the white yarn from the end of the skein and so that way I can work without interruption. And guys, the reason I'm still showing you this same little section is just so that you guys can see how quick this can go because this, again, is in real time. Um... And it literally doesn't take that long at all. And now I'm coming to the end and I'm just going to finish off that row. Okay. 
Okay, and our very final row is going to be so simple. It's basically another chain. So I'm going to turn it. I'm not going to um, chain at all. I'm not chaining two. I'm just turning the project. And we are getting ready to go directly into the second chain from your hook. You're going to insert your hook. Wrap the yarn over, and you are going to pull through both of those loops. Again, try to get a little closer for you guys. You're inserting into the back loop. Okay, you have the two loops on there, wrapping over, and you're pulling through both loops. Insert, wrap over, pull through both. Insert, wrap over, pull through both. Insert, wrap over, pull through both. And it's basically just creating a border for you, a finishing border, and it's like a chain. So just gonna complete that, or repeat that all the way down the body of the scarf. Okay, so now that I'm at the end, <clears throat> I am cutting one more time because I do want my yarn to match. So I want to add the color again because I'm getting ready to sew up the yarn. I don't want white to be showing all the way through. So I'm using a smaller hook. Um, I believe that's a J hook because I want to, let me see, I think it's a J hook. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's a J-hook. So that's six millimeters. It's upside down. But <laughs> um, that is going to be so much easier to navigate and get through the ends of that yarn. So that way you can stitch it up. I don't have a stitching needle, so I'm just using a smaller crochet hook. So I'm basically just going into and pulling just like we did um, that last stitch I showed you. So you're going in, wrapping over, and pulling through both loops. And you're just going into that little bordered um, section. I can't really explain it. Um, I'm trying to think, um, for lack of a better word, uh, you're taking the last two stitches of each of those rows and you are going through them and connecting them. So, give you a little closer look. You're going through, yarning over, and pulling through. So you're basically creating another chain stitch down the shaft of that scarf. So it's like you're just sewing it together. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. I am more so um, visual than spoken, or should I say I teach visually or I learn visually more so than by someone telling me I have to actually see it. So again, if there's any questions, you can definitely reach out to me below. Any suggestions on how to make uh, my crochet videos better? They're welcome. All positivity here because you will be blocked, you negative ones, okay? Okay, guys, I'm just finishing up. And this is probably just going to be your the most difficult part of the scarf. And that is just getting through those ends and connecting them. You can even go for a smaller hook, which is what I should have. But I only had a couple of them on me. So I went with what I had. Even better would be to get the, you know, the crochet needle. I didn't have mines on me. So we work with what we have. And as I get to the very end, guys, I'm a stickler for just getting things done the way that I want them done. So I am going to switch out one more time so that that color is not going to be showing throughout the white border. You 
Yeah, I don't want that to show. So I'm just making sure. And I'm going to go ahead. And you don't have to do this. This is just what I'm doing. So I've switched it out. So both of them are white now. And I'm just going to go ahead and close up the very end. All right, guys, so I'm cutting it off and I just I left just enough to kind of put a knot in it and then to secure that end piece. So again, the scarf is very pliable. You can move it around. You can shape it. It is not stiff. So right there, I am just tying a knot securing the end of that stitching okay guys so i'm just going to finish that off i'm going to use my scissors once it's as tight as i need it to be and secure and just so you know this is the inside of your scarf we're going to flip it the correct way and you guys will be able to see that the stitching that we just did appears to be seamless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Smooches guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Mwah.